Uh, yeah, so uh, Razor Robertson, the Crusaders head coach, is absolutely certain his future career path with the All Blacks, right? And uh, yeah, uh, you guys still want him to be the All Blacks coach? It might be too late. They might have been already signed him. He's already probably already signed. He's pretty sure he's got the job, right? He was pretty adamant that he knows where he's going to be going in the future. And uh, maybe keep Sir Fozzie for another four years? I don't know. This was an embarrassing performance for the Crusaders. This was probably the worst Crusaders performance I can actually remember. I, I don't remember one that's worse than this one. And uh, yeah, and this was at home, Christ, uh, no, not, yeah, at, at home at Christchurch, Orange Theory, Theory Stadium, hometown crowd. Uh, yeah, this was a convincingly dominated by the Chiefs, I would say. Uh, the Chiefs look better, look more structured. The Chiefs forwards, really put on a lot of dominance. The Chiefs backs played a lot of urgency. D-Mac returning showed a lot of tricks. I really, you know, made Mwonga look like uh, look like an amateur almost. And then there was a, a, a guy. This guy, I, I really felt he should have given an All Blacks opportunity even last year. And that is Josh Uwani. Like this guy has the, he has, he knows, he can feel the game. He has like, not just, you know, uh, you know, a vision. People say some players have vision. He can feel the game. He plays the game with just raw talent and he can just flows. He flows with the game and uh, yeah, set up a really dominant, like set up a number of opportunities for the Chiefs. I think two tries he set up for the Chiefs. Uh, unbelievable performance coming off the bench, no less. Uh, Josh Iwani and uh, yeah, just really has that talent. And I thought, yeah, I thought this was surprising because this Crusaders team at no point for throughout the entire game look like they know what they're even doing. And this all, this, this, I almost called it an All Blacks team. This Crusaders team has like half the team is in the All Blacks team, right? Uh, I all have formerly previously played for the All Blacks. But it's just absurd how bad this game was for the Crusaders. Like, Razor looked like he didn't do his job. Honestly, the, the, the team looked lost, okay? Just give an idea how stupid this team was. 12 minutes into the game, the Crusaders clearly had a little bit of a, you know, advantage to the, the Chiefs. Came out of the shed, looking a little bit rusty. And Mwonga just kicks a drop goal. 12 minutes into the game. Like, yeah, guys, we're, we have no idea. What did we do at training, guys? Guys, guys, coach, coach, hello. What did we, what did we do in training? I can't, we, we, oh, sorry, we didn't train. You were out in the fucking, uh, uh, what do you call it? You're telling people that you're an all boss coach, right? Uh, we, we didn't actually do anything training. Like, I'm just put a job going. Right? That literally looked like what happened. And um, yeah, it, it showed. The Chiefs absolutely dominated the Crusaders, especially in that second half. Uh, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. This was and, and unlike the Crusaders in the past, where the Crusaders, even if they're behind, they always, you know, try to you know rally themselves and make a comeback. There was none of that. It did not look like a Crusaders team. They just fall over. They just, just went war. It went, it went from bad to worse. And then to like, absolutely horrendous. It went, it went downhill. It was nothing. None of the Crusaders, you know, uh, DNA was in this team. Okay. It was horrendous. Horrendous. And uh, yeah. Razor, good luck with the All Blacks job, mate. And uh, yeah. Busy doing, busy touting everyone. He's got the job with the All Blacks. You know, Wink, wink. I know where I'm going. Wink, wink. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so anyway, let's have a look at the stats. One try for the Crusaders in the first half. Uh, and that was, I will, this was, this try was scored against a 14 play uh, Chiefs guy. Like I said, Crusaders had some early momentum. Sam Cam gives away a cynical penalty, gets yellow carded. So Crusaders had a play advantage to get this only one and only try on the board. And then the Chiefs just pounded the Crusaders for, yeah, pretty much for the entire second half. 626 run minutes to the Crusaders, 402. 20 turnovers against the Crusaders to the Chiefs, 16. 189 tackles made for the Crusaders, 49 missed tackles. And that's the Crusaders. That's half the All Blacks team. My goodness. 
Uh, Chiefs much better. 16 missed tackles, 130. That's almost world class for the Chiefs there. Kicks in play. 43 kicks. Is this is this the Crusaders playing or is this the uh the Lions play? I know Warren Gatlin used was coaching in New Zealand, right? But I'm pretty sure he's recalled, and I'm pretty sure Gatlin was coaching the Chiefs. 43 kicks for the Crusaders. Oh my goodness. And uh, 36 for, for the for the um for the Chiefs. One drop goal. Congratulations, you did a drop goal. And uh, line outs, two loss for the uh, for the Crusaders. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bash. Okay, um, three loss for the for the Chiefs as well, so not clean. Uh, two scrum loss for the Chiefs, which was a little bit surprising. I did feel like yeah, I I was a little bit surprised. I thought um. I was a little sorry. I thought, you know, with Brody Retallick and Somersoni Tokiaho, the Chiefs wouldn't have lost any of their scrums. But anyway, it is what it is. Penalty count 9 against the Crusaders. 11 against the Chiefs. Uh, one yellow card for the Crusaders, which was Ethan, Ethan Blackadder put a shoulder charge on uh, one of the players. Uh, could have been a red card, but, you know, in the Super Rugby nowadays, they will put them on report up after issuing a yellow card. So then they will go look at that, whether it's warrants a match, match ban, a warrants a red, yet red card afterwards. But he gets, uh, it did look like the ball carrier ducked his head into his shoulder, to be honest. I didn't even think he could be, yeah, yeah, I didn't think that was too serious of an infringement. Uh, and then, like I said, Sam Kang gets a yellow card early in the game, um, giving Crusader their first try. Um, for, yeah, repeated penalties, essentially cynical offside. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go through some of the key points of the game. Uh, uh, yeah, this was horrendous, I mean, for, for, the, for, the, for the Crusaders. Uh, for the first, first, half, first start of the game, it looked like the Chiefs were a bit rusty as themselves. So, like, neither team was looking, like, the Chiefs wasn't looking great, so Crusaders actually had a bit of an early dominance over the Chiefs. And then 12 minutes into the game, Crusaders just takes the drop goal, right? Great. Well done. And then uh, five minutes later, Crusaders can pop out on more pressure on the Chiefs. Uh, like I said, Sam Kang gets yellow carded for repeated penalties, and I think it was Seneca offside. Gets sent off. And finally, Crusaders have a bit of a space to work with. Uh, just some quick tap. Uh, Ethan Blackhatter crashes the ball. The ball comes out quick. They just shift the ball a couple of passes out wide to Havili. Havili kind of like barge himself through like two defenders essentially. Goes over for the try. And Havili is playing 15, by the way. I really was surprised to see him at 15. I thought surely, surely the All Blacks number 12 gets to play at number 12, right? I mean, surely. Come on, Razor. Surely the All Blacks starting number 12 don't get to play 12 for the Crusaders. I know Josh Goodhue is good, but come on, man. Come on, man. Havili gets put a 15. And uh, anyway, um, so the, the, the following this try was scored. The Chiefs, especially with Sam Ken coming back on the field, really looked like they started reorganizing themselves, really starting to consolidate. And just really basic stuff, right? Just forwards, hitting the ball hard, running, taking the ball forward, and trying to recycle the ball, and then just keep pounding that pressure on. And eventually, 32 minutes of the game, Big boy, Bodie Retallick gets a short ball from his uh, from his halfback. Just pounds himself through for the try. Big man, uh, too close to try line. And Chiefs gets on the ball. Seven points through ten. Uh, that's basically the halftime support for, for the game. Second half starts, right? Uh, and immediately you can tell the Chiefs just kept building the momentum they had in the second, uh, in the first half. Despite being behind, you can clearly tell that the Crusaders came out of the sheds. Feeling, feeling like they're still like way ahead for some reason. And the Chiefs had an urgency to, to consolidate while they were finished from, from the first half. So um, about, what is it, nine minutes into the second half, again, Chiefs just pounding the ball. Just basic stuff. You know, get the forwards to get over the advantage line, recycle the ball, and go again. And then uh, this time, Sam Kane redeems himself, crashes over for, for the second try for the Chiefs. And then uh, Josh Iwani gets onto the field. He is just unbelievably good, this guy. Um, he basically the uh, the third try and the anchorable try, uh, the anchorable try. Basically, again the Chiefs just pounding the Crusaders um, inside the Crusaders twenty two, and the ball kind of went loose, like it was a missed pass. There was a miscommunication that nobody caught this ball. The ball just like rolled on the ground, and then Josh Uwani has that sense. Has this is what I'm talking about? Has that like you know almost like the game sense that you know that you know I don't even know what he called it. Maybe the Kiwis might call it mana. The rugby mana, maybe, if that's a thing. He just felt when, how this was going to go. Instead of picking the ball up, he just, like, swipes the ball along the ground and he rolls over to Nankerville, who found himself in, finds himself in, uh, who found himself in space, runs in for the try. Like, this was just pure, like, 
Yeah, like, I don't know, mana, maybe. Is that what mana means in, 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 in the Maori tradition? It's just like, yeah, really, he just, he can feel the game. He knows the space, he knows the ball needs to get there, and he knows if he had picked it up, it was been too slow, just swipe the ball across, rolled the ball over, and uh, Nankinville scooped it up and went in for try. This was actually really beautifully executed. It was quite good to watch. And then uh, and then 10 minutes later, again, Josh Iwani gets the ball, sent the field, just a little dummy, like almost like a second five. They are put you play center, right? Just a little, I, I don't know, is, is he center? Is, or is he, is he 10? Just a little dummy, slip himself through the gap, stiff arm, uh, the defender, and then just links up uh, with Ratima on his inside, straight under the sticks. Just beautiful, beautiful execution. And the Chiefs, four tries on the ball with about 10 minutes left. Uh, Crusaders tries to run the ball, tries to like uh, mount and return. Nope, not even close. And the Chiefs, in, in fact, finished the game strong, pounding the Crusaders' try line. Eventually, the Crusaders sort of spoil that. Uh, and then the game went, went, was out uh, when Chiefs, you know, tackle one of the Crusaders. Try to run the ball out of there on 22, even though it was completely futile. And then uh, Chiefs made the tackle, pushed the uh, Crusader player out, and that was in the game. And uh, Sir Robertson will be taking the All Blacks after the Rugby World Cup. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.